Hey guys, and how about we watch a death battle, Zelda vs Peach. So as always, I'll be watching the entire death battle, so if you want to avoid spoilers, please click here. Besides, you should go support the official release anyway. So guys, guess what? I actually know both of these characters! Ah! Right? That never happens! Well, I mean, I can't say that I know a ton of details about each of them, but I at least am familiar with them. I've played games with them, so we're good there. I mean, as far as Zelda goes, I've played, you know, Wind Waker, Four Swords, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, you know, those ones. Um, I've dabbled with others, but I think those are the only ones I've actually played to completion. I want to play more, just haven't yet. Um, so I know a little bit about what Zelda's capable of, and just seeing her in games like Super Smash Bros. Melee and Brawl, you know, you get to see her combat side. As for Peach, I really don't know what she can bring to the table. I mean, she's captured all the time, and she might not have that whole, like, Stockholm Syndrome thing. Um, I love game theory. Um, but if we don't think about that, she seems pretty weak to me, and I can't think of a game that really shows off her combat skills aside from the Smash Bros. series, so I really don't know what she could have going for her. So yeah. I mean, sure, she has like, her frying pan, and she could pull turnips and stuff out of the ground, and maybe... I don't think you could use Toad, because that's like an outside resource, you know, but um, I don't see what she can really do, whereas Zelda has, you know, she has her bow, she, um, I don't know if they're gonna include Sheik in this, but she has her magic, she has her own dexterity and teleportation and whatnot, you know, um, like the gifts from the gods, so I think that Zelda's going to win this one. I really don't see how Peach is a good match for her, to be perfectly honest. Um, looking forward to having them prove me wrong if they want to, or prove me oh so right, which is awesome when they do. But yeah, with that little said, let's get to watching. Alright, Zelda vs. Peach, Battle of the Princesses, here we go. Today, we're pitting two of the most worthless damsels in distress against each other. <laughs> if they're not getting kidnapped, they're always nagging at you to do stuff. Princess Zelda Fair from enough. the Realm of Hyrule. Still, I'd say Zelda's Princess more capable. Peach of the Mushroom Kingdom. I'm Wizard, and he's Boomstick, and it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Are they gonna include Mario Kart? That's weird. That's not combat Being at all. Being a descendant of the House of Hyrule, Princess Zelda has spent her entire life governing her kingdom. Despite having a king, the majority of royal decisions are actually made by her. Talk about a control freak, and why do they let her get away with it? I mean, she's lost her kingdom to the forces of evil more times than I can count. Between eh, being waiting King's on not doing and much, out. Zelda has spent some time training with her modest arsenal. Bows, magic, musical instruments. She even <laughs> carries a sword and dagger, but has little experience with them. Her weapon of choice is the bow, which she wields I'm with I'm better the with a dagger than that. she can use her magic to turn an ordinary arrow into the powerful light arrow. Perfect for kill and evil. Speaking of which, Zelda is an incredibly potent spellcaster. Mm -hmm. While most of her magic is for use outside of combat, she is more than capable of holding her own. She can teleport with Faror's wind, shield herself with Nehru's love, so they are and going cast to use Smash Bros. projectiles with Din's fire. Also, she can talk with dead people. <laughs> Spirits. Like booze? <laughs> Not booze. Zelda is also the bearer of the legendary Strike Force of Wisdom, a testament to her astute mind. This greatly enhances her magical prowess and gives her the power to dispel evil. She is even skilled enough to create long-lasting disguises. Yeah. She used cool. the guise of Sheik to evade Ganon's tyranny for over seven years. Wait, that's a chick? But where's her, uh... <laughs> it should be noted, however, that the forms of Sheik and Tetra are nothing more than disguises, and abilities attributed to them would naturally be available to Zelda. Yeah, mm. but why would you want to toss tiny needles at people when you can shoot fireballs with your mind? Well, While Zelda is clever, mystical, powerful, suck. <laughs> and helps battle Ganon when necessary, she repeatedly relies on the aid of others. Her success at avoiding cat can be largely attributed to her guardians in Sanctuary. Mm. She is really good at getting other people to do stuff for her. Right, she is a master manipulator. She can always convince a naive young hero to do her dirty work with little to no reward. <laughs> How many times has this guy got to save you? Put out already! You called for a hero, princess? Yes, but I guess you'll have to do. Oh, burn! <laughs> All right, Peach, bring it on. At first glance, Princess Peach appears to be your standard meek and helpless damsel in distress. And that's pretty damn accurate. Yeah. Being a member of the royal toadstool family, Peach spends most of her time getting herself kidnapped or baking cakes in the kitchen like any good woman should. <laughs> Despite being a wealthy princess with a royal guard more than capable mm -hmm. of defending the castle, she has been kidnapped over a dozen times. Yet somehow, while still behind bars, she can send mail to Mario through outer space containing she items She always finds some life. message. Hey, 
Indeed. some way to do it. Just send yourself. Peach is an incredibly <laughs> athletic and capable fighter. She has participated in a variety of different sports, including soccer, basketball, and kart racing. You can and use has sports. Survived every single Mario Party. And as I guess we they said used before, Mario, Mario Kart, Kart for is Yoshi. No walk in the park. Peach's unique array of weaponry mm. includes a tennis racket, golf club, frying pan, and turnips, which she can apparently pull out of her. She also wields <laughs> Harry the Parasol, an umbrella capable of powerful strikes oh, I haven't played and that magical game. properties. Okay. Oh, and one of her most valuable weapons is her ass. She can hit someone with that thing so hard that something down there explodes. <laughs> Peach also wields a form of magic called heart power. With it, she can flip Is that RPG? I never played that, time, but I watched some of it. Cool. And summon lambs from the sky to put her foes to sleep. <laughs> Don't pet that sheep or you might wake up in a stranger's van. And ever since being touched by the Vibe Scepter, she can channel her emotions into raw mystic power. When she rages, oh. she becomes invulnerable but slows tremendously. Oh, hold up, touched by the what now? The Vibe Scepter. <laughs> 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 That's fair. Uh, That's understandable. It's climax with <laughs> <laughs> With her Mega Strike technique, Empress Peach, a kick so powerful it splits a soccer ball into three separate ones, delivering enough force to score three times. <laughs> Sorry, they're gonna use soccer. <laughs> Come on, boobs. Heart power also naturally dispels evil magics, which is the actual reason why Bowser always kidnaps her. Uh, really? Wow. I always thought it was because of well. Peach has assisted Mario in battle several times, once even saving him from Bowser on her own. Wow. Even so, she still needs rescue on a daily basis, and her gratitude usually only goes as far as a kiss and a cake. What's with all these princesses not putting out? Give it up already! Cake's good! Hey, Let's bake a delicious cake for Mario. <laughs> oh, voice acting. All so that's right, fun. Ah, ready to bust. Set. Let's end this debate and... once and for all. It's time for a death no, battle! No, wait, wait, wait. We gotta do an ad. Oh, yeah. What? Pulse! Okay. So Zelda versus Peach. Yeah, Peach, um... They did give her more powers than I remembered her having, and some of that is because I just didn't play the games. Like, I didn't play the games where, with a little Vibe Scepter or whatever, um, you know, Perry the Parasol, or whatever his name was. Um, I wasn't sure they were going to count Smash Bros, but I guess they can, they just can't figure, like, size into it, or necessarily the power, because, you know, they scale it down so everyone can compete together. But the attacks themselves can, you know, stay. I don't know, I still think it's weird that they're including the sports games, but like I said during that, I guess they did reference Mario Kart for Yoshi, and, like, trying to say, hey, he's an intelligent dinosaur. So I guess they can kind of do that to say, you know, Peach is athletic. But still, you know, Peach may be athletic, but then there's Sheik. Have you seen Sheik? She can do crazy things, like super flexible, super athletic. So I think that that can kind of counter that out. Um, and then I just feel even with um, the Vibe Scepter using her powers from that based upon her emotions, first she has to feel that emotion, and I imagine genuinely so. And so I think that Zelda is going to be able to trump that with her own magic. Um, and then, you know, like, you got Peach's turnips, but Zelda's bow with light arrows and everything. Or the needles, or the chain, or whatever. I still feel like Zelda's going to win. They did make Peach sound better as a competitor, but I still don't think that she's quite as good as Zelda. So, yeah, I'm just gonna say Zelda's going to win, and we'll resume. And play. Here we go. Zelda versus Peach. Fight. It's like a modified brawl spray right there. That's what it looks like to me. Oh, crybaby. <laughs> Ow, that would hurt. I'm not sure what all of her mood powers do, Peaches. We got the fire one, but that's all I remember hearing. See, she looks like she's doing great, yeah. Not the sheep! Run, Zelda! <laughs> or, or that. That works too. That'll come into play later, won't it? <laughs> yes! <laughs> that was fun. Oh dear. She cheated. Oh. In Brawl, he should be dead. There's a straight line. Oh, frick. Alright. Are they gonna survive the fall, though? Oh, she's fine. Zelda can just teleport. Here 
Here comes the sheep! <laughs> Move, Zelda! <laughs> Is this it? Oh, I feel like this is a... Oh, she Did just... She kicks all this <laughs> hair. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? Zelda's offensive arsenal is relatively limited and predictable compared to Peach's quirky repertoire. And while most of Peach's attacks aren't fatal, the Mega Strike Empress Peach gave her a leg up. See, a soccer ball is typically kept at up to about 12 psi. Okay. But since Peach's Mega Strike creates two more, it has enough force to add up to 24 pounds per square inch, or about 165,000 newtons per square meter. As a thousand newtons of force can cause decapitation and 15 psi shatters the human skull, uh... the Mega Strike is so over excessive it didn't just kill Zelda, it obliterated her. Uh, the face really hard and it went boom. <laughs> yeah, in layman's terms, like, yes. Peach Science! Peach least Zelda in this fight. The winner is Princess Peach. Alright, claps for Peach. Good job, Peach. That Thanks was for watching. Now unexpected. Watch okay. I'm gonna see if there's a next time, then we'll talk about it. Battle. Nope, no next time, so we'll just go straight to talking about it. That was weird. That's not what I expected. Um... Uh, I really, okay, I'll say this, I really like when science is brought into it, so like that whole PSI thing with the soccer balls and the force that it would take to shatter his goal, you know, decapitate, I thought that was really cool, really impressive, I'm glad they took the time to figure that out. But I still think it's kind of weird that you would include a video game in some kind of analysis like that, especially when it's a video game of that kind of caliber where it's like, you know, this power, where they can just throw anything into it, but I don't really know what I'm saying. I find it odd, because even if Zelda's you know, Arsenal is kind of predictable and that it does that, you know, everything, um, and Peaches is quirky. I don't think that that means that she would, like... Because, <laughs> I mean, it's like you have, you know, the drunken fist technique, right? Where you're drunk and you fight. But you kind of still suck unless you're a master of the drunken fist. You know, it depends on your skills, too. So even though Peaches is quirky, I feel like she's not wholly skilled as much as... Uh, yeah. But I can accept this. They had their reasoning, they gave me the facts and the science, and even though I might not wholly agree, where I can think of like many scenarios in which Zelda would win, I can accept that Peach wins this time. If nothing else, under these circumstances, with the sheep falling on Zelda's head making her fall asleep, I can accept it. I mean, this isn't a valid argument, but I think it's kind of weird that like, a girl could die from a turtle or a mushroom walking into her, you know, twice or four times or however many times it takes in her games. But as, you know, another princess casting powerful magic, you know, fire magic, and hitting her and stuff, that's... And that wouldn't kill her? That's weird. But I'm accepting it! For death battle! So with all that, thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, of course, feel free to a like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. It means a lot, it really helps me out, and I would love to have you guys. So, tune in next time for my next video, and until then, take care.